I already took this out. I didn't record me taking this out, but I'm gonna record me putting it in. It's basically the same process. Uh, make sure. So this clip goes on here like this. That. Power. You can do it, put your back into it, put your back That's into it. It just takes a little power. Snap the cooler into it. Alright, so now we're going to push. Yeah, as you can see, this little part right here clamps onto the metal piece, so I got to attach this. I probably should attach this first. I can't lie to you, so let me see. So I know this is going to like. Come on, Mr. Mechanic. Yeah. Now, hey, listen now. My first day on the job, okay? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Don't call him, y'all. He's a rookie. <laughs> we need trusted auto parts. <laughs> Take you as the auto zone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can get it right, though. Just like that. Bada boom, bada bing. Never trust a mechanic that says bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> Your shit is going to break listen, down in the middle of I-95 in the middle of the day. Listen. Y'all can trust me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can trust me. Peace gay. I'm looking like I'm looking at this like damn, my shit come cut. No, no, that's just how it made. It's cool though. Two of the rings. So this ring goes right here. I'm gonna least, be out of here alright. Right in heaven. At least for the next 30 days. <laughs> got that clip on there, y'all. Yeah, I got a clip on that. Alright, hold on, some get the coolest. Make sure y'all got y'all some coolant ready. So we are back. She is running good. Pull it good, pull it not leaking. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? Cool it is in there, it's not leaking. These were the stains from before, but she is not leaking. Head and uh, put the cap on this. Do you see a, uh, do you see a coolant sign? Press okay. Press okay. That's right. Oh yeah, we good. Turn the AC on. Cut it down some. Cool and work it way through the car, but everything is running good as you can see. So I appreciate y'all for watching. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. This is just beginning a new vlog. So back to regular broadcasting. Let's do it. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, but uh, let's get let's get let's get inside the car real quick. Hold on. So uh, this is I didn't expect for this vlog to even start like this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we are here, so that's what we're doing. So uh, yeah, I was actually on the way to my mechanic because after I changed my coolant tank, um, for some reason the car is still overheating, or it start it's now now it's overheating, um, which it was doing it before, but it wasn't like. It was doing it because of the leak, but now I'm trying to figure out why is it overheating. So um, he told me to bring it to him, um, and you know what I'm saying it's overheating. So I had to pull over and just wait for it to kind of cool down. I'm literally like 20 minutes, maybe not, not even 20 minutes. I'm actually like 13 minutes actually. Um, let me see real quick. Yeah, 13 minutes. As of now, from where he's at, um, at the shop and. Yeah, I just had to I just had to pull over and let it cool down for a second, so uh, so I you know don't break anything. And that's that's why I'm I'm over here pulled over right now, y'all. Hold on, y'all kind of dirty real quick. Gotta get y'all right. Let me get y'all right. Let me get y'all right. So uh, yeah, man, we on the side of the road right now on the highway. Um, just trying to wait for it to cool down. It's currently, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, you can see it. Let me see. You guys can see it. So. This is where it's at right now. So I need to let it get down just a little bit, but uh, it's almost there, but. Anyways, other than that, I hope everybody's having a great day, you know what I'm saying, and having a beautiful morning. It is currently 8.24 a.m. And yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. So uh, once I make it there, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna check in with y'all and I'm gonna just keep y'all updated for real on what's going on and what was the problem or whatnot. Just in case anybody else has other problems out there like this, because I don't know, 
what the problem is. Um, it could just need to like he said it could need to like bleed or something. Probably need to clean it out. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not being too sure, but uh, he's gonna know what it is. So once we get there, I'm gonna check in with you guys. But I just wanna check in and say thank you for all the support and all the love, and I appreciate it 1,000 percent. Um, my crow family, we are building with each other and growing with each other. I'm just trying to keep this content going and flowing, just keep y'all interested, you know what I'm saying, and what goes on in my life. So, hey, this is just another day, you know what I'm saying? This sun is beaming on me right now, as y'all can see. God damn. Ooh, that boy's skin looking good. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, guys, so we are up and running right now. I'm currently about uh, 13 minutes away, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure how far I'm, I'm gonna really get, bro, to be honest. Because uh, they really need to cool down for real, for real. And, man, we just need to make it there, man. So, yeah, I'm gonna just, man, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. So, uh, let me see how this goes. All right, y'all, so quick update. Yeah, I'm waiting for the tow truck because Miss Ben, she just couldn't hold she couldn't she couldn't make it out on her own. You know what I'm saying? I'm about ten minutes away. Like five miles away. I'm on the highway though, as you can see. On the side of the highway and yeah. Uh she just couldn't make it there, so I had to call a tow, a tow truck just to be safe. Because I don't want nothing else happening. I don't want nothing else happening as far as like the overheating and everything. You know what I'm saying? And, I called a tow truck to just come pick me up and take me to the rest of the way so we can get this fixed. Uh, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, my boy can get this fixed today. So we can continue what well, we got the plan, but uh, if not, I'm gonna check in with y'all. Everything gonna work out, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta move through the hardships, you know what I'm saying? And keep your head up, stay focused, stay positive. It ain't gonna stop nothing, you know, like I said, it's a car, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all. It's life. What can you do, what can you do? What can you do but live life and keep on going, keep on going. Uh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten this morning. And yeah. Damn, y'all. Toto just pulled up. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's not overheating. I, uh, I was taking it to my to my mechanic. But uh, I didn't want to keep on driving it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure if y'all driving your car start overheating, do not keep on driving it. Do not do that because it will mess up the motor. You know what I'm saying? And it will possibly, you know, fuck it up even worse. So we're gonna get it up here. I'm going right here. You know what I'm saying? Number at the bottom. Which y'all get right. I'm going to keep doing this. Thing. make it on this truck and we gonna make it back home I talked to my car like it's a fucking person <laughs> we have made it finally to the shop shout out my boy Jabo for getting me right you feel me for towing me because I was not trying to drive this car no more bro after it started uh getting hot so shout out to him and yeah we gonna uh, get my car in the shop so we can check it out see what's going on so she ain't got to teach me young <laughs> that's hard got to teach me young yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, Chief? Finally back at the crib. Well, I'm back at Lena's spot. For real, for real. I can't even put up on her because I got her some food. She hasn't eaten all day. She ate all day, I ain't ate all day, so I like, I'm gonna bring some food back. So, uh, yeah, I got some chicken teriyaki vibe, you know what I'm saying, veggies. You know what I'm saying, cool shit, cool shit. But other than that, um. I had to leave the car there. I took an Uber back to the crib or back to Lena's spot. Um, so I'm here now. Uh, I ordered some food off Uber Eats because I'm hungry. I've eaten all day. It, it's 5.58. I didn't pick up the camera once I got back from, well, once I got to the shop, I didn't pick it up because it was too much going on. It's life. Shit happens. 
I'm not gonna let it stop me. One thing I learned, bro, is to not let small things stop you, especially especially materialistic things like that's that's only it's only a car. It's just a car, like it's not your life, it's not family, it's not life or death, you know what I'm saying? So there's no reason to get all riled up and all just, you know what I'm saying? Like in your feelings about it and get all emotional, like bro, it's a car, figure it out, work it out, find a solution. I'm about to eat my food. Um, but I'm gonna also chop it up with y'all in a second once I get done eating. So uh yeah, I'll be right back. Dreaming, nigga. I'm bro. too busy fucking sleep, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga, nigga, I can't sleep, bro. <laughs> No. Goodness bro. gracious! Get the towels. Watch out. I'm about to throw in the towel. Fuck, get that care off me. This is what I'm talking about. God damn it. <laughs> Can't never have a fucking moment. Like, it's. Clean. Lena. No. Let's put it on camera. Lena. She's so childish, bro. You're childish. <laughs> How the hell you hear me, you damn? Gotta get, get my real studious. There we go. I bet. So we are back now, right? And I'm gonna just kind of like pick off from where I started before I uh, before I started eating. So this is for anybody that don't know me, that don't know who I am, because I never really actually done like a introduction video. You know what I'm saying? To like who is wrong? You know what I'm saying? Who is this guy that does photography, videography, um, fashion? It's into all this different shit, right? So my name is Ormani. If I go by Rome, you know what I'm saying? Rome came from. Uh, like part of my name that you know what I'm saying that's some deep shit of the shit, but uh, I go by Rome You know what I'm saying Rome made it. Uh, that's my photography name. It's my whole Links and everything y'all can go follow me check out my work if you don't know um, Now, you know, so uh, other than that. Yes, I am from Jacksonville, Florida I was born in North Carolina, but I was raised in Florida, but I'm now located in Atlanta, Georgia content creator for real so I do photography videography I direct music videos and just I know how to build brands and do artist development, you know what I'm saying? So um, I've been on tours. I've been on three tours. Um, I worked with an artist that was signed with Dev Jam, and then I continued to just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow from there, you know what I'm saying, and uh, settle down in Atlanta. So that's really how I, like, I got all my knowledge and just knowing, like, you know, how to shoot and what people look, what looks good and you know what I'm saying? Just different, different like aspects of the industry and just content creating. I started back in like 2014, 20, uh, like 2014, 2015, something like that. Like doing photography and videography for about that long. Uh, YouTube just kind of started on YouTube, like being more consistent. I would start off taking videos of like an old hobby, so like skateboarding and like little tech decks and like little fingerboard stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually getting back into that side of me too, because as you know, like. I'm a real like I'm a real like rock star kind of like my style like rock star skateboard like cool swaggy cool shit you know what I'm saying so I'm really getting back into my whole like that whole side of my style but I shoot events weddings birthday parties clubs portraits everything that has to do with a camera I do I, I have done you know what I'm saying um, I also know how to do management for artists I'm not trying to like get out of topic you know what I'm saying but. I really want to just talk to you guys about just who I am because I've realized I never really hold on let me let, let me unscrew this uh, tripod off my tripod piece but yeah so I can hold my camera now there we go cool but yeah so I really just want to like talk to you guys about like who I am because I feel like a lot of people don't really know or understand who Rome is where did he come from where is he from you know what I'm saying how did he get into this whole like content creating world or you know what I'm saying like I like to say I'm really like an entrepreneur at the end of the day because content creation is just one part of me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I, 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 I'm a entrepreneur in all aspects. So like, there's so many different ways, you know what I'm saying, to get money and to know how to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if you're starting a, a, a local business in your city or you're starting a car wash or you're doing, you know what I'm saying? There's so many ways to make money and you make money off of other people's businesses as well. Other people pay me to do promo for their business but how you execute it and how serious you take it so you know if you don't take it serious it's not going to work but if you take it serious and you take your work serious and you've been consistent and being persistent and you like this is what i can do this is what i can show you i can do it works is this is the proof people are going to want you to do that for them you know what i'm saying they're going to want to hire you to do it for them 
Um, and that's just how entrepreneurship works. You are the one to make everything go. There's nobody sitting there holding your hand. There's nobody sitting there like, hey, you should be doing this. Hey, you should be doing that. You're the one to either go take notes from somebody that's either doing it or go figure it out on your own. You know what I'm saying? Personally, me, I was the one to kind of go figure it out on my own. I was, I'm a self-talk photographer. You know what I'm saying? I'm a self-talk co content creator. I never really had nobody really sit down with me and tell me, hey, you do this. Hey, you need to do that. Hey, you should do this. Hey, you should do that. You know what I'm saying? It was really just me trying to figure out what is it that I really want to do. I'm really trying to figure out myself and what I'm good at. I noticed like, oh, people actually love my work. They actually love my photos. They actually love my vision. They actually love this and that. I'm like, okay, cool. This is something that I can turn into a business and actually make money from it. While I was still trying to find myself in the creation, I was also working another job with my dad. You know what I'm saying? Like my dad had had his own business. I really didn't have my dad like growing up all the way like until my whole childhood, but I had him once I was about 10, nine or 10, and that kind of, you know, helped me just get me on my feet. What's up? You wanna come out? No, I was right. Uh, so my dad wasn't really like in my life until, you know, I was older. Um, he was incarcerated um, until I was about like 10, so he did like 10 plus years type shit. And um, I was traveling like back and forth to see him, you know what I'm saying? So. Shout out to anybody, you know, anybody that had to go through that as well, like growing up, bro. It's not easy. It's definitely something, you know what I'm saying, that uh, I'll never forget. And my mom really helped take care of me, like growing up. Like she really showed me like how to grind, how to work, how to hustle, you know what I'm saying, take care of family. Um, she worked numerous jobs, you feel me? And I know like long nights had to had to grind with, with her, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the lights stay on. Cause hey bro, them lights get cut off and they gotta light up some candles. It get real like that, you know what I'm saying? It get real like that, but that's life, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm grateful and I'm thankful for what God has showed me. After everything going on today, bro, I'm not even worried about that for real, bro, because I know God going to take care of it. He going to make sure everything take care of because he always going to make a way. He always going to find a way. So all I say is, man, keep your faith in God, bro. Keep God first and make sure you stay focused. Stay, make sure you stay focused on your goals, on what you need to accomplish, on what you need to handle, and everything's going to happen for you. I'm not going to keep on ramming on, you know what I'm saying? This is just a pre- brief you know what i'm saying description of me and as we get to know each other more and more like i'm just gonna start opening up way more bro you know what i'm saying just let y'all in more and more into my life i appreciate y'all for watching hopefully y'all enjoy this video this is something pretty brief and quick like i said it's just a little quick introduction of me um and i'm gonna get more like on me as well like this is just something pretty brief you know what I'm saying, to enjoy. So, uh, Crow, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We fight together. We stay together forever. You dig? I love y'all. Y'all stay tuned for more content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment too. Let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Leave a crow. Leave a crow bird. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Stay tuned for the next video. So, once again, I love y'all and we out.